Okay, I'm back. All right, so food and hunger, or hunger and thirst, I mean, let's get that taken care of. Um, our buddy's still sleeping. He's in good health. He'll wake up eventually. Not too concerned about him, so let's get this other stuff done. Um, let's actually get some more get some more uh, wood available. So we'll wield the crowbar, smash up a few of these other odd things that I'm not using. Nothing else in the closet. Good enough for now. Do some more cooked meat. <laughs> so much meat available. Do ten more. Whoa, did we really um yeah, I guess we did sleep most of the day away. That's good. So it's gonna get dark pretty soon. That works out perfectly for what I'm trying to do. He won't take the crossbow bolts from me. Uh, all right, let's try. Hold this item. All right, that works. All right, I'm gonna have to at some point get him re-equipped uh, with some better stuff. I totally forgot. I've got that messenger bag in the wrong location. Everything resupported there. Good enough. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything in this chain I care about. Got a pretty good increase in what things we can craft now that we've leveled up a bit. Long way to go still. I'm not ready to actually just craft grind out a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time looking at and uh, working out 
how to get more bandages, first aid kits, things like that. Um, that's going to be really critical to keeping this guy alive given the lack of healing I get during sleep. Alright, I think our immediate crafting needs are done. It's still light out. I think I'm going to read for just a bit. Uh, let's do first aid. I think that's going to be the most important short term. Focus is 110. Bone slate. Uh, wield. Where is my guitar? All right, we're playing our guitar. Let a little bit of time pass. Check our morale. Got our hot meal, our soda, and our music bonus going. Nope, not trying to sleep, thanks. Trying to read. Heard a noise. Stop reading, yes. And our light from the fire is attracting zombies because I didn't get the thing turned off. Damn it! Uh, that was a mistake. Drop the acoustic guitar over there. Wield. Knife spear. I was trying to get to it before they broke through my window. Didn't make it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. Screwdriver set. Improvement over the screwdriver. At least he brought us something. Alright, my bad. Now I've got an open window. That ruins my fire situation unless I get it boarded up. Uh, I don't know if it'll let me with Fab 1. Board up window. There we go. I'd prefer not to board the other one up just so I can get light in so I can read during the day. How close did we get? First aid. Only 21% and it's dark already. Alright, well we're done with reading for the moment. More important things to get done. Alright, I'll sort these in this stuff out into a more coherent uh, setup later. Alright, night time. Time to go back outside. What to do, what to do. I'd still like to get into that house that we tried earlier. I briefly got into this one, but didn't get a full clearance done. I haven't been here yet. This is where the scary stuff was. The minefield, the basement house, and those heavier zombies. So I'm a little nervous about going that way. Um, let's go ahead and use a one... I've only got three bandages. Now I'm going to hold off on the bandage. It really comes down to a question of, am I secure enough to just sit here and do some crafting grinding? Do I think I can get a food supply? Because the meat that I've got is going to go bad here pretty soon. It's not going to last all that much longer. Um, I've only got a small amount of stuff we found. I've still got houses I can raid. What are what's a little further? Bar. Oh, grocery store. That's my target. I'm gonna make a target for those two grocery stores. For carts, shopping carts, and supplies. So we're gonna push to the west. We've cleared to the fast foods. So we're gonna try to get to this street. Come south along that street to here, and then check out these two grocery stores. Anything else is bonus, but I want to get a shopping cart if I can. That'll help out quite a bit for these nighttime supply raids. I think that's going to be my... Actually, my, I think my path actually is going to be... Try to go to this house, this house, then out onto the street here, and then that grocery store. We'll see what I meet on the way. We've cleared quite a few of the zombies that were in the area. 
Uh, Zancrasm, I've never farmed thyme oil, thyme oil for bandages. Um, I can look into that, but it's not something I've done in the past. Alright, do I have everything I need? Uh, drop that stupid heavy stick. Hold on to this item for me. You're staying here. Hey, 1% persuade. <laughs> Hopefully that increases over time. Have another multivitamin. How do I feel about weapons with reach? You mean like the knife spear that I am currently using a lot? <laughs> I feel awesome about weapons with reach. Use them constantly. They're my go-to weapon for the early part of the game. I usually switch out to something else once I uh, have some medicine and have some protection on all my body parts. There's no need for that reach once you've got the uh, protection and medicine just in case you take a hit or a bite and uh, other weapons are much more effective. But for early, early game, when you're susceptible to death by uh, bites, it's very powerful. And plus, this character is really set up to kite. He's really set up to move and stick. So I'll be taking heavy advantage of the knife spear. All right, I think we're all set there. Um, Encumbrance is a little high on the legs. I'd like to dump one of these pants, but I think I will as soon as I can get a shopping cart. If I get a shopping cart, I'll dump off one of the pants. Oh, must be a full moon out. Look at all this sight range we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine range. So, now we've got an even bigger advantage for moving around in the dark, so I definitely want to take advantage of these lighting conditions. Alright, so first target, due southwest. Don't want to do anything with that vehicle for now. Hello, zombie. More zombies. More zombies. I think it was this back window I broke into. Alright, what do we see? Lighter, windbreaker, under the hood, nothing I care about in here. Computer Science 101, that I care about. Dried rice, very important. Love dried rice. Leather touring suit that fits. Hmm. Leather and Nomex, torso, arms, and legs. Seven encumbrance. Three, three, one. Twenty-five warmth. I like it. Throw that thing on for a second. Um, getting pretty overloaded now. I probably didn't take the jean jacket off at the very least. Our leg encumbrance is jacked up pretty high. Alright, it's costing me 100 points to move. Oh, that's right, this one had the garage I didn't make it into last time. Come on, uh, let's pick it. Get some pick, lock pick practice. <laughs> screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver set. Duct tape! I win! I win the cataclysm! Grab the batteries. 
No vehicle, multiple uh, screwdrivers and screwdriver set, which is kind of funny. Which they spread the tool love out a little further than just screwdrivers. This house is done. All right. Next is this house here. Front door is. The side I'm facing. What do we got? Pickup truck. No wheels. Not going anywhere. Decent amount of gas, some battery. Could pull some random stuff out of it, but not going to worry about it. Front door. Mm, hello. Whoa. Hello, Brute. All right. Brute was close enough to see me. Now yeah, he's making noise. Um, we've already got some noise. Oh, what do we got? More bandages, oxygen tank. Um, it's gonna take up all of my space. I'm almost full already. Sugar, customs. Need me my pop tarts. All right, they're starting to chase me in. There's a pot. Ugh, too much stuff. So I make a note to come back to this house. Um, I'm debating just making a run back home real fast, dump this stuff off, and then come back. Slip out the back here. All right, back to walk mode. So you can see the kind of advantage you have at night with a good visual visual range. Most of these zombies never even notice me. I can just easily walk right around them. I need to unlock the front door. <laughs> okay, duct tape, batteries, soap, good book, more bandages, lots of good food items. That house was a pretty much a gold mine. I think I'm going to leave the rocks behind. I'm not going to use them much anymore. They're taking up space I need for other things. Back out we go. Get as much done as we can during this night raid. We got a little too close. Shady zombie. Alright, you guys finish beating through that place, that's fine. Oops. And we got a bite. <laughs> One shady zombie shows up and we get bit. Ah, that's not good. These guys are hanging out right outside my grocery store. Ooh, where'd you come from? Okay, this guy I don't like. This guy I really don't like. Can't get away from him. Arr, bastard's too fast for him. I'm gonna run out of stamina. I'm 
I'm just going to take the hits. This is a terrible plan. I hate these ferals. Alright, I tried to move to a new position where I didn't have other things nearby. So I took a hit though, which I cannot afford. This is the grocery store. I can just get a grocery cart and get back home again. Hey, looky there. Grocery cart that works. And a map? Is that a map I see? Nope. Candy sticks. <laughs> Trapper's life. Um... Alright, drop in the oops, cardboard and also the cargo pants. Alright, got stuff chasing me in, so I'm going to have to make this a quick run through. What do we got? Ooh, meat pies. More cough syrup. I think they're in. Another cart in better shape. Um, do I take the time to swap? I don't think I do. I just remember that that's there for future use. Whoops. My bad. Not ideal. I'm stuck in the corner here. Oh, uh, this was bad. Let's try to rearrange this a bit. I want... Oh, crap. Alright, this is getting bad. Out of stamina is a horrible, horrible thing to be in when I've got stuff surrounding me. I gotta get out of here. Come on, stamina. Speed has dropped. Stuff's catching up to me. If anything shows up in front of me, I've got a big problem. Alright, I gotta risk running. Just enough to get them off my trail. Alright, back to walk mode. Which vehicle is this? Right on the back of the... Another SWAT truck? Uh-oh. Got diesel in the battery. It's got wheels. Ooh, it's got a security system, though. This would be the holy grail to find early. In working condition. Ah, oh, no alternator. So once the battery drains, it's done, and the engine has got a fault. Air filter is not a problem. So if I can get that alternator fixed or replaced, this thing would be awesome. So map note: slot truck needs alternator. Uh, if they don't tear it apart on me, at least, this would be awesome for us to be able to get in and run around in. I really need to... Ah, God damn it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Shady zombies everywhere. Damn shady zombies. Too many of them. Alright, not certain I've lost them. I need 
need to get under cover though. Um, we're gonna come through that window, I bet. <laughs> Here they come. Yep. All right, at least I got some stamina back. Chat, Anton, come with me. Whoa, hello. Ah, uh, that's not good. All right, now we're getting invaded. How you doing, Anton? And he got bit again. Goddamn shady zombies. Guess I can try to force him into the lit area here. Come here, you. Stop running. And another one coming. Keep getting tapped. And you still got the one wound. Alright, we took quite a few hits. I didn't take all that much in hit point damage. I've got to cauterize that arm though. Got to get rid of the bite. If that doesn't work, then I've got antibiotics. As a worst case, I'm going to get my stamina back up to full before I do it though. So did they break through my bookshelf? Yep, they broke through the bookshelf right there. So they've got an easy path in. It's gonna take some effort to clear this back out again. <laughs> My bedroom's looking like a lake of blood. I don't anticipate staying here all that long, so... Once I can get the cleared area all the way down to the firehouse, like I said, I'm going to make that firehouse my longer term home and or that firehouse. <laughs> Awful lot of firehouses in this place. I guess I'll just keep advancing and clearing to use firehouses as my forward bases. Um, all right, hungry and thirsty. Got the wound to cauterize. Let's get the cauterization done. Cauterize. And we failed the cauterization. Exciting. Jacked our pain up, lowered our stats. Never a good thing. So we can do a second cauterization attempt. Uh, if it fails, it'll immediately go infected for the wound. And I'll just take an antibiotic. It won't be ideal, but uh, I think the chances are better at a 50-50 to get rid of it via cauterization than it is the natural chance of my body fighting off the bite. So, let's get something to eat and drink before we do that. Let's have cooked meat. And... Alright, it's about time to start sorting my water and other supplies out so I can find them easier. Alright, so I'm full and slaked. 22 pain. Let's have some aspirin. Get that coming down. Try one more cauterization. All right, we got it. So, jacked our pain up, but second cauterization managed to burn out the infection. So we don't have to use up one of my antibiotics. I just have to deal with the pain short term. That lowered my speed, so that's my main advantage for being out at night. So I do need to be cautious until that clears up. My buddy here, 
I, like I said, I can't do much with. He's either going to fight that off again, like he did last time. Um, but I can't cauterize the wound for him, which seems a little odd. But maybe he doesn't trust me enough for me to come at him with a uh, burning piece of metal. Yeah, the cart was slowing me down slightly, but uh, I refused to give up my cart. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't take enough hits to damage it. Yeah, still in good shape. Well, it's, it's still in working shape, but yeah, it slows me down slightly. If you look at the movement points here, 95 walking, so 95 space, or 95 point cost. If I grab the cart, 107. So it was slowing me down, but I was fairly confident I was going to have enough to get away. I would have ditched it if I had to, um, to guarantee that I was going to be able to keep moving and get out of the way. I thought I'd gotten far enough that I'd left behind most of these shady zombies, but uh, apparently not. Worked out though, took some minor wounds, and uh, my buddy got bit, but we cleared out another batch of zombies, so that's another group that we don't have to deal with again. So The local area is getting more and more clear, so... Soon I'll be able to go around at a daytime in this local area and grab raw materials or read or do books and things like that without these incursions. But uh, I'm okay with what we've had happen so far. Uh, let's go grab that cart. And actually let's go out the front door and unlock it so I can actually get in the front door when I need to. Uh, hello zombie. Like to kill that zombie under controlled conditions. Where are you? Sure looked like he shot me there. <laughs> Got worried for a second. You gonna take care of him? Almost. All right. He's actually pretty useful with that crossbow. Just in the habit of picking up all the long strings. Alright, grab that and we'll bring it down. Bring it back to the front door. I can actually bring it in the room with me. Uh, let's point it right here for the moment. And let's get rid of all these bodies right after I grab up all these stupid crossbow bolts that he keeps leaving around. Not sure why he's not picking up his crossbow bolts. Hmm, fitted combat boots. Think about that. Uh, all to here. USB drive with Hack Pro. They brought me a Hack Pro drive. That's pretty nice. All right, the Hack Pro drive I want to go there. Everything else I want to go. I uh, guess that didn't matter. Okay, apparently the NPC is getting in the way of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Let's do it from the other direction. Apparently I can't move that heavy bookcase because my stat has dropped too far. Alright, fine, be that way. Uh, I can do it from here. Out the window you go. Whoops, yep. Damn it! <laughs> Two bites. Grr. It's kind of worried that would happen. Try this again. Get out of my house. All right, um, I 
Let's grab Forget how many it takes to board this thing up. Apparently, I've got enough. <laughs> Goddamn shady zombies. Enough already. <laughs> Strength is still too low. Oops, I meant to get this out of my room beforehand, but whatever. All right. Hmm. My safe room has gotten a little less safe. I don't really have a good alternative with this particular setup. But like I said, once I clear the area, I won't care about the light spilling out, attracting things. So we're getting pretty close to that point. Okay, pain's coming down. My strength is back to nine. can't see what's in these spaces because of the blood. <laughs> Started to bug me, so I'm having problems dragging counters and stuff around. Alright, I'll just leave all that alone for now. Back to the cart. So, that's what we brought back with us. Let's just drop it all into here. Will I make my more coherent spaces? All right, cart's out of the way. Um, so I didn't get a full clear. on that northern grocery store there, but I got a pretty good idea what's in there. Still some things I'd like to grab out of there, but uh, there were a few too many things. Don't care about a candy shop. And the zombie presence was a little high. I think I'd like to concentrate on just finishing clearing this local area. If I can clear everything down to like this, I think I'm perfectly safe after that. And then it's just securing our food and water. Um, Getting that fire station cleared out, which will be a little tough, but uh, I think we can manage it. I can spend some time working on mechanics so I can replace that truck alternator. I want to actually get out to that vehicle and see what kind of mechanic skill it's going to take to replace some, that truck alternator. Because if I can get that truck SWAT truck running, that would be huge. It's very tough. It's got a uh, heavy frame all the way around. It's got some weapons in it uh, in the back. Uh, it's got cargo carrying capacity once I do some mods on it, so it'd be a really good travel usability vehicle for us. Um, it's the best thing I've seen so far. We've also got the possibility of that solar car. Um, so we've got a couple things that are possible. Let's see, what do we focus on? I'm still concerned about my hit points. We still keep getting nicked by these 
Shady zombies. Just about got the pain back down. I gotta keep an eye on my buddy and make sure I give him an antibiotic. Once both of those wounds turn uh, into infections. It's gonna be hard to monitor that to know exactly when they turn. I think I'll just yeah, let's just give him the items now. Hopefully he'll use them intelligently. Um, hmm. Drop. 13. Chat. Hold on to this. Um, where'd they go? Hey there, Brisme. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for following. Try this again. You, old. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Keep doing it the wrong direction. One more time. Alright, there's two doses of antibiotic for you. Hopefully he's smart enough to use them when he needs them. Okay, let's have some more cooked meat and another hit of water. And what do we do? I really want to take advantage of this night, but the zombie density was a little heftier than I would like to deal with. There's no specific things I'm actually targeting in these local houses anymore. Getting into the bathrooms to try to find some medical supplies would probably be the main thing I'd be going for. Any incidental food and uh, liquid would be good, but not critical at this point. Um, so I might leave the cart behind and just do a quick house raid for medical gear in the bathrooms. Let's... Leave him behind again. Point seven out of eleven. Drop these two books. Three point seven out of eleven. Um, miscellaneous rules. Not sure I got that set up right, but I'll revisit it later. Um, Alright, <laughs> our sheriff shirt keeps getting hit for some reason. That's fine. Yeah, I want to take advantage of the available light, so let's go ahead and get that done. Oops. Forgot. Didn't give him the command to stay put again. Alright, I'm going to leave the cart behind so I can maximize my movement. Let's check out this house right here. Hmm. 
more detergent. I think I've got enough for now. Boyer's buddy will grab a wrench. We'll grab a wrench. So that's another one of our critical tools. Bathroom. Nothing in calcium tablets. I do have um, simplified nutrition turned off, so I've got the full nutrition requirements going. Alright, I think this house is pretty well clear. Next one down is the minefield house. That I gotta be careful of. I can't think or remember of anything in the VFW hall that I care about. I'm gonna try to work my way down the street, see if I can avoid any of the big nasties, and get a look at that basement if I can, and possibly the fire station. Have one more aspirin. I haven't quite gotten rid of all that pain and my speed is down a bit. Alright, what you got back here? Screwdriver don't need and a bottle jack. Could be useful at some point. Skeleton. There's the necromancer. Really like to take care of the necromancer. I think I'm going to take him right now. Switch to run mode. How we doing? Severely injured. There we go. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Smash him up. Necromancer down. Back to walk mode. Alright, so that's the antibiotics in the minefield. I'm not going to try to do the minefield in the dark. Caffeine pills. Another bathroom with nothing I care about. <laughs> Pickled meats is pretty good. And yeah, I don't care about this front entrance either. Alright, so. Basement is the only thing I care about. What do we got? One of the standard styles, and it's a growing basement. Grow lab, marijuana. With a shrieker and a tough zombie down here, and something else. Uh, alright, can I dance my way through? Huh, pretty populated basement. And we're out of here. Alright, uh, actually no, I'm going to leave that there. That's my... Uh, it's not an ideal fallback position because there's four zombies in it. <laughs> it would be better if it was empty. Now I'm debating, do I take the time to try to clear that basement? I think not. Let's go take a peek at the firehouse where we're losing nighttime. So I gotta be a bit careful. Just how much time passes here. Alright, so we're just north of the fire station. Uh, there it is. Oh man, there's a lot of zombies in there. Hmm. Do I open it up, let these things out? I 
They're going to be a little tougher to kill because of the uh, firefighter gear they're holding on to. But getting them spread out where I can take them on one or two at a time, not in enclosed space, would be ideal. I think I am going to try it. So, all right, we made a big noise. So we're going to back out. See what kind of response we get, if any. Wait for my stamina to recharge. Oop! Shock zombie down to our southwest. There he is. That guy's not a danger currently. Whoa! Hello, shady zombie. Run mode. Oh, we actually grabbed us. <laughs> Alright, switch weapons. Switch to the machete, please. One thing I don't like about fighting out in the open like this is I can't force him to stand on a difficult terrain that slows him down. And he tipped us again, but we didn't take anything but a little bit of leg damage. That's why I just stand here and stay in place for a little bit sometimes, just past time. I think the scent map caught up with me there. Uh, I'm passing time just to let shady zombies have a chance to reach me so I don't get surprised by them when I'm in a bad situation. All right, left arm's at 41. Man, I don't want that to drop anymore. We've got the front of the fire station. Hello, firefighter. <laughs> love the way I couldn't... Uh, he tried to grab me. I love the way I couldn't see inside the building, even though the door's open. Some weird sight radius things going on there. All right, now we're going to back off, switch weapons again. Let's see if we can kite this guy to death. How we doing? Heavily injured. Slow going, but we can do it. There we go. Got a couple good hits in there. PBA mask. That will satisfy our uh, need for glare protection for welding when we get to that point. Fitted turnout boots. Fitted tack gloves. Fit utility vest. A lot of good items there once I can get them cleaned up. And I actually do have a good supply of detergent, but I don't have a good water source currently. It would take a lot to uh, clean all that. So I need to find more of an open water source that I can use. All right, first zombie firefighter is down, though. Let's go see how many more are in there. I really don't like that I can't see in the door. <laughs> it's bugging me. Come on, you. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> like I was saying. <sighs> Where the hell? I gave you plenty of time to show up, shady zombie. Arr. God damn it. Thought that third one would get him. I'm trying really hard to get this place cleared, or mostly cleared, before the sun comes up, if I can manage it. Would love to get relocated into this firehouse. But we know for sure there's at least one more in there. Would have been nice to get him while he was in that window sill. Oh, stamina. God damn it. Please tell me I'm faster than this guy. Just barely. He hasn't gotten a single swing in yet. 
I don't mind walking in a circle if I have to to get my stamina back. No shady zombies, please. That would be rude. Come on, stamina. <laughs> Regen a little faster, please. Alright, my speed is coming up. Now I'm out distancing him a little better. Once you run out of breath, you also slow down, so that's the other danger. Don't let your stamina drop too low. You just get slow. One more tick of the bar and I'll start swinging again. Now I'm fast enough I don't have to go to run mode. I can take a shot. There we go. Perfect. More firefighter gear. Come here, you. Ooh, he got a swing in. This guy seems a little faster than the last one. Ah! I don't need anything else added in. How are we doing? Severely injured. Getting close. One more. I like emergency oxygen packs. I'm going to activate and take a hit of oxygen. Alright, I didn't like seeing the skeleton there, but we've got, what, three of them down? Four of them? I forgot. I've lost track. And they're being really nice about coming out of the uh, building one at a time. Bolt cutters. Don't use those very often, but uh, nice to see them there. We're going to have quite the pile of gear sitting out in the middle of the street here. Alright, how we doing? Jeez. Plenty more. Starting to uh, wonder if I'm actually going to make it. There we go. Ah, I can't see him when he's in the windowsill. That sucks. Ooh, cell phone. I can tell what time it is. 3.49. Uh, getting pretty close to when I need to head back. i got to be really careful not to get stuck out here during the daylight hours. Get some shots in while... Yeah, get one shot in at least while he was on the table. That one went pretty well. These guys are actually dropping a lot faster than I thought they would. But you can see how careful I'm being, given my long-term health situation. Flame resistant socks, teapot, don't care, don't care. So nothing back in the kitchen area. At least one more in the bay. Doesn't look like there's a truck in the bay. A couple more. Heavy duty flashlights, valuable. Stamina's back to full, so that's good. God. Gotta love fire stations. I knew there were going to be a bunch of them. Halligan Bar! <clears throat> love me some Halligan Bar. Drop. Makeshift crowbar. I just need me a firefighter belt. These guys drop a firefighter belt anywhere yet? Might get one inside from the uh, lockers. Allegan Bar was one of my most hoped for things in here. Ah, you got a swing in there. Flash 
flashlight. Alright, how we doing? 413. I'm starting to get nervous. Chucker zombie climbs to its feet. <laughs> Alright. Wasn't me that killed that chucker zombie. Last one. Now all of a sudden I can see inside. Something wonky about the lighting conditions. History of firefighting. Alright, we'll grab that. Last one. Please tell me that was the last one and we've cleared the fire station. Ah, it wasn't. Two more at least. Glow stick I don't care about. Utility vest can be useful, but I can't quite carry it. Do I have enough room to dance in here? Ah, damn it! Bastard's trying to trap me in the corner. Okay, less missing, please. There's the fire axe. 4.30, I'm getting nervous. Two more! Ah. Last one. We have cleared the fire station. And he had a backpack. Alright. No idea how much other stuff these guys were holding. I didn't really look. Don't care about a flare. Don't care about a dust mask. Damn it. The lockers are useless. Firefighter belt somewhere. Let's go here and search this way. Um, not seeing one anywhere in there. Gas mask. Try to grab inventory all. I don't have much space left. Um, I'm coming back here, so I'm going to leave. I'm not going to be using these books anytime real soon, so we're going to leave those behind. I want the gas mask. Not going to be welding anytime soon. The PVA can wait. I forgot to pulp everything. Crap. 450. My vision cut down. Snow flurries again. Uh, grab the flashlight. Really? I can't believe there's not a single firefighter belt. Trousers, coat, boots, gloves, helmet, <laughs> every single other thing. Not a single belt to be found. Damn it. Alright, I gotta get out of here. It's 5 a.m. Sun's gonna be coming up any, any moments. I gotta get my butt moving. 
Alright, super happy though. We got the fire station completely cleared. Hello, skeleton. Safe mode on. Safe mode off. <laughs> Ah, god damn it. This time that one. Keep getting tapped. Whoa. Alright, what's going on? Okay, where are all these zombies coming from? Wander spawns is turned off. We are back home. Okay. Good trip. Very, very, very worth it. I'm glad I went out during the night time when we had the good visibility so I was able to dance around everything. Hopefully that answers the uh, earlier question about how do I feel about weapons with reach. <laughs> I love weapons with reach, especially with uh, good vision and uh, good movement skills. Combine those together, makes things really powerful and really demonstrates why nighttime is your friend. Um, yeah, the shady zombies are a bit irritating, but uh, as soon as I picked up that 15 doses of antibiotics, my fear of shady zombies lessened. I'm still really, really worried about the amount of damage I'm taking. Um, even full nights of healing are only getting me one or two hit points. At that rate, I'd need to sleep for like a week just to get back to full strength again. Which kind of seems more like a realistic health level. I mean, going from near death, ravaged health, death's door status to completely healed, jumped up, and ready to go the next morning after one night's sleep seems a little silly, but... Uh, it's the cataclysm, so what the heck. But uh, yeah, it's going to really, really force me to change a lot about how I play. Uh, combining the extremely slow sleep healing and the flimsy. Long term, it's going to be a real challenge. So we'll see how well I manage it. But uh, I think let's uh, unload the inventory. We brought back some more good stuff. Um, why is there... Why is there a soldering iron in my brazier? <laughs> hey, Anton, what you been doing while I've been gone? There's a soldering iron in my brazier. And a pair of filthy dress shoes. Anything you want to tell me about? Hmm. All right. Um, oops. Off a run mode. Let's get the stamina back. Alright, drop. Getting close to time where I'm going to need to sort all these piles out into more coherent stacks. I usually start with a single pile, then I sort them out into more coherent piles. I'd really rather do it once I move to my semi-permanent base down in that uh, fire station, but uh, we'll see. Um... Drop all the food items. Really happy we got the gas mask, but I need to get it cleaned up. So we'll do that. Um, not in this location. I'm going to keep a hold of it just so I remember it, though. Ranch, soldering iron. What's that get me down to? Gas mask and the halogen bar are taking up a lot of my volume. Uh, so I was really hoping to find the uh, firefighter belt so I could hang the halogen bar on it. Can't believe I killed that many firefighters and checked all the lockers and there wasn't a single belt. Just remember, dying's a learning experience. 
fight to the very finish. I've had a lot of miraculous escapes in the game. That uh, That's the most exciting part, is when you pull off a miracle save. So don't get too discouraged. Early game, when you don't know what to expect and what's really possible and don't have a feel for things, like the movement rates and the damage levels and how to deal with all that kind of stuff, you're going to die a lot. But uh, just shrug it off, keep playing. Uh, the more you learn, the deeper the game gets, and it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Um, it'll be a long time before you feel you've got a good grasp on everything and uh, can do some of the things like you see me doing. But a lot of what you see me doing when I'm running around these cities and uh, doing this stuff at night, I've got a real feel for the movement rates and for the damage levels, what's dangerous and not dangerous, when to pull out. Uh, I try to make sure I've got a clear retreat path. There's a lot of things that I'm not mentioning that I'm doing and I'm keeping track of kind of in the back of my head um that really improve things um i mean I, I just know from where i'm at on the map what kind of direction i can go what kind of houses i can dive into and out of uh, i keep an eye on buildings that have back doors so i can go in one side jump over a counter lock doors behind me and keep running to break contact so there's a lot of stuff going on that it doesn't it's not immediately obvious just how much of a benefit it is but once you start learning to use those kinds of things uh it really 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 helps out so, but don't get too discouraged. That's the big reason why I made the uh, tutorial and educational stuff that I did was to try to get people past the initial frustration level and uh, the learning cliff uh, to give them enough information and enough examples in bite-sized chunks that uh, they can feel comfortable actually making progress. And don't hesitate to ask questions. If you die and you have no idea why or what happened or want suggestions, drop by forums, uh, the discourse uh, location for Cataclysm, my Disc or Cataclysm uh, Discord channel, anywhere like that, and uh, people are always happy to help out and answer questions. Or even make suggestions for game world settings that might make things a little easier initially. Okay, we made it back. Um, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I mean, long term... I'm worried about this incremental damage, and as you saw the first time I tried to sleep, man, we gained almost nothing. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the live stream to a close here pretty quick. Um, getting a little tired, but uh, before I do, I'm going to try to do another sleep cycle so we can see just how much healing or how little healing I'm going to gain. So remember, I started at 65 in every body location, and it's just been draining slowly but surely down ever since. Now we're on day three, so we'll see what happens when I try to sleep here and uh, how much rest that I actually get. Um, am I worried about the open window? Um, I think I might board that up just to protect myself and use the brazier light or just grab books and walk outside to read oh there's more blood B dude's been busy <laughs> azariah dude's been busy he's been protecting the home front while i've been gone because he killed something that came through this window because there was a soldering iron and some shoes here that weren't here when i left and yeah there's more blood in here i have no idea how many things he might have killed i don't see that many bodies around I remember this body was here. There's no body here. There's a pulp zombie corpse there. So I think that might be one he killed. I'm not real sure if he's just moving stuff around or what he was doing. He's only got, uh, he's on guard duty. But he shouldn't be doing much else. I'm a little worried. Here's one thing I am worried about. I'm a little worried that these are going to go infected. Idiot's not going to use the antibiotics I gave him. And then when I wake up in 10 hours, he's going to have 10 hours of infection that I'm going to have to wait for him to clear off. So, I don't know. I think next time I'm just going to arm him with a mop when I leave and uh, tell him to clean the place. But, let's try to board this up. So, let's go ahead and board the window up. Alright. And the sun came up while I was boarding the window up. 6.11 a.m. Yep, sun is coming up. Got the doors closed. That one's boarded up. 
I can't even see the bookshelves because of all the blood. The beds also vaporize. There's there's a bed right here. You couldn't tell it from the lake of blood that's in, in the middle of our bedroom here. What's our morale look like? Eh, yeah, we're pretty happy. Focus sucks. So it's good to see that all those morale things that hung in there for a day and a half finally dissipated. So things seem to be back to somewhat normal that way. All right, let's try to sleep though. So I'm just going to pay attention to here. So 46, 48, those are the most important, head and torso. Uh, so I'm going to watch those two numbers and see just how much sleep I get. Hopefully we're totally interrupted. I have no fires running. Um, I've supposedly cleared the area out a couple of times. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a quick run around the outside area. See if there's anything in sight. Zombie child and a bear. Crawling zombie. And a skeleton right outside the window. Where are these things coming from? Wander spawns are turned off, damn it. And the bear's real close. Is that bear coming at me? No, nope, he's ignoring me. Um, again, I don't want to deal with a bear. Or do I? Do I want to shoot the bear in the head with my couple of my, my remaining ammo? Just to get my food supply up again? Um, hmm. Tempted to let the bear do some work for me. Now, let's do my normal thing. I'm just going to clear all these local zombies. Damn little kids are hard to hit. Ah. And of course got a tough zombie now that I'm running out of stamina. Let's get on the other side of the fence and the bushes. Make him come to me. Well, that didn't work so well. Damn it! Delted my dented my helmet. Um. Uh, 39, left arm. Damn it, I was really trying to keep that above 40, but they just nicked me enough to get the damage through. Still got zombies all over. Spitter, regular, shrieker, down south a bit. I think I'm going to kill this one right here and call it good for clearing my local area. Leave me alone, bear. I see you keep peeking your head around the corner of my building. I really don't want a bear to charge into my bedroom and take out Anton. That would kind of suck. Go away, Mr. Curious Bear. Jesus, he's just hanging out right on the edge of my building there. What is, what, what is up with you? Last thing I need is to wake up with my head in the jaws of a bear. Bear would finish me off pretty quick if he got me by surprise. So I'm kind of worried about that bear being in the area. Um.
I let zombies and the moose do a lot of damage to the bear previously. I put the wounded bear down without too much difficulty, but I'm worried it would take two or three shots and the gun, even with the uh, mod on it, is still pretty loud. It put out like 80, 82 or something uh, loud noise factor when I fired it, so I'd really rather not do that. I think I'm going to just sit here and wait like half an hour, but nothing happened. I'm going to go to sleep. We're going to risk it. Uh, hungry and thirsty. Let's get some more food. Cooked meat. Cooked meat. And let's have an apple. And it's the last of my clean water. I have to cook some more of that up as well. 7.30 in the morning. See how much of the day we sleep away. I want a full day's sleep. And for 46, 48, head and torso still. Oh, wait. Chat, Anton, come with me. Let's go. Free him up to come and sleep, do whatever else. The bite wound on my left arm looks bad. Really? Well, I gave you something for that, you idiot. Oh, still got bites. All right. Well, I can't help you with that. <laughs> That's the one thing I'm worried about is those bite wounds while I'm sleeping. Hopefully he uses the antibiotics I handed him. Here we go. Come on, full sleep. Oh, I'm not tired yet. Damn it! Alright, do I have cough syrup? I can't remember. Which kind do I have? Yay, standard cough syrup. We're going to abuse some cough syrup. Try to sleep again. Alright. Fell asleep. Lightning storm. Noon. One o'clock. Alright, we woke up. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, our left arm went from 39 to 42. We gained one head hit point and one torso hit point. Oh my god. Our current health value is zero. That's our general, what is normally a hidden health stat. So, I don't remember... As long as it's not negative, I think we're okay. But uh, we're going to try to keep an eye on that. One. One hit point for a full night's sleep. That is a rough uh, equation. <laughs> for me taking damage to me healing damage. Uh, what am I going to do about that long term? Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Skander, if you haven't seen the character, extremely slow sleep healing and flimsy. So I started with 25% less hit points, I started at 65 health, and I'm gaining 10% of the normal healing. So, it's all going to be first aid, bandages, first aid kits, pretty much anything I can do, I'm going to have to do. So it's going to be a massive focus for me to uh, get that stuff done. So we'll see what we can accomplish, that's part of the challenge. Now I do have Wander Spawns turned off, so it's an important distinction to remember. If I can just get this corner of the city cleared out, I'm perfectly safe here as long as I've got food and water. I could just squat in here and sleep and sleep and sleep and read and craft and so on um, to get my health back eventually, but I don't usually play that way when I do live streams. I try to keep things moving and keep things interesting, so... We'll see. It's going to force me to do things differently, which is what I look for. That's what I strive for in these uh, live stream challenge modes that I create as I try to find ways to force me to play the game differently and force me into other situations. So this will be interesting to figure out. I've been uh, in worse situations. So at the moment, we're three quarters health and uh, we've got a decent amount of gear and we've got a friendly NPC. Oh yeah, how are you doing guy? Did you actually... Well, I think what happened is one of them went away and then he has not used the antibiotics in the other one. I think his natural body fought off one of the bites, but he has not used the antibiotic that I handed him. So, hey dumbass. <laughs> uh, wake up. And he's still not going to teach me anything. 1% persuade chance. I don't know what's going on there either. I guess he just doesn't really want to teach me anything. Alright, trade items. Apparently you're not going to use the antibiotics, so give me back the antibiotics. Give me the antifungals, you're never going to use those. He's still got 27 bolts, so he's okay on bolts. 
All right, now I want you to use this item. Uh, is it going to use the whole pile? I'm always paranoid about whether it's going to use the whole pile or not. Cancel that. Drop. 14 antibiotics over there. Chat. Use this item. Antibiotics. Alright, he's all cleared up. So, good. One antibiotic, he had two bites. That's a good trade-off. I don't mind that at all. So, <laughs> it's possible he hates me. <laughs> I don't care, as long as he keeps acting like a decent meat shield. He's been doing okay. He's getting pretty good at that crossbow, and uh, just standing there and taking the hits while I stab things from two spaces away. So, it's a worthwhile trade-off. So, that demonstrates the deal with the healing pretty effectively. I'm not sure why I got three in the arm. I'm, I'm wondering if the lower it goes, the more chance you have to gain a, an additional healing. Because I only got one and one here, but I got three off of that position. I don't remember where those were at, but uh, that's going to be pretty rough long term to deal with that. I'm still pretty confident it's going to be shock zombies that do me in. Those shock blasts that are hard to avoid, that hit every single body location for a few points. Those things are going to be the death of me, I think, long term. So, I think it's going to be critical that I craft and uh, use tons of medical gear to keep my health up and uh, figure out a way of dealing with the shock zombies. I think that's going to be the primary thing. All right, well, I think I'm all set for the night, so thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, plan on being back on Wednesday to continue this series, so tomorrow I'll be streaming something different, but uh, Wednesday I'll be back continuing 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern, or no, 5 o'clock Central Time U.S. is usually when I start, so look forward to that. If you haven't already, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Any support you can offer would be greatly appreciated. And I also have my YouTube channel as well, so feel free to hop on over there and check out the content. And uh, have a good night. You guys, see you later. Bye-bye.